Hey, this is Dave Pellinger, Senior Solutions Consultant with School of Sheets Solutions Consulting, and I'm going to answer a question from the Smartsheet community um, regarding using an if formula to determine if something was um, occurring or if something had occurred in the previous month. So let's check out the question. This person is saying, I see a lot of count if solving this, which is great, except I need a straight if formula. Okay. I'm trying and failing to come up with a formula that tells me if something occurred the month previous. For example, if the current state was the previous month, output the text, I'm assuming previous month. Okay, so basically what we're going to need to do is use a couple of different formulas uh, within a formula, or functions rather, we're going to need to create a formula with some different functions um, based on manipulating dates around. So I have prepared this sheet here. There are a list of dates. Um, for reference, today's date is uh, okay. Today is okay. Quick change there. Today is the 20th of August. So we have a few rows here from June, a few from July, and then from this month. So basically what we want to get is our formula to flag these particular rows here from the previous month, which is July. So let's build it. As our um, suggester asked, we need an if formula. All right. So to determine if something is in the previous month, we need to subtract the month of today from the month of the occurrence date. If it is equal to one, then we know it's the previous month. If not, that's not the case. So we're gonna use the month formula. And inside of this, so what the month formula does is you input a date where you reference a date and it will turn just the month into a number. So if we stick today in here, let's actually show this first. We get the number eight. Okay, now if we were to reference our current state, we'll get the number six. So if we do if month today minus month current state, let's use at row rather than the number, equals one previous month. I'm just going to put a dash in there if it's not the case. I think it's generally a best practice to. Uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna have a logical formula or a formula in a column, it should always display something. That way, you can tell between a uh, a broken formula or a lost formula where the data is completely blank, or just a formula that's uh, returning a you know negative value. All right. So, as we move this down, boom, we have all of our July items as the previous month. And let's just say, for method of example, we were to compare this to a month in July. Okay, so if month, we can reference this value actually just doing this. That's the sheet summary field. So now, based on um, July being the month in question, we're getting our June values five. Let's revert those changes. So um, you could spruce this up a little bit. For example. We could use a checkbox, and in this formula, we could have it check our box automatically. We'll just need to replace previous month with the number one. That is the smart sheet interpretation of the box being checked. I think this looks better center aligned. So you can do it like that, and you have a little checkbox. Um, I mean, you can, you know, we can kind of get crazy with this. Get some conditional formula in here. Maybe we want to be able to visualize our previous month and our.